Evangelion episode 22 is about Asuka. Now, if you've been watching this video, and I imagine you, if you've been uh, following along with my, if you've been following along with my videos, like talking about this, you will know that Asuka is my favorite character. And I specifically said in my last video that I imagine this backstory is going to be very, very interesting. Like I was going to like it. I was wrong. Like not only is it boring, it kind of really just doesn't really, pfft. it doesn't, it makes Asuka worse. Okay. Like it ruins her sort of, uh, how should I put this? Like, it makes her less... Not only does it make her unlikable, it makes her, like... How should I put this? It, it really does feel like they sort of dropped the ball here. Like, really, again, they, they try to explain her backstory. Like, apparently her mother has, like, this condition where, like, she treats her doll like it... A doll like it was like her actual child and Asuka is just like fuck her fuck the real child you know uh, just like not very interesting it doesn't really elaborate on why Asuka acts the way she does and she she's like this has been one of the most well built up character arcs in the entire series so far and it's kind of sad to see it go this way to see Asuka like descend into like this weird sort of angsty, like, I should be doing better. There's like, I should be, no, no, it's not even about her doing worse, you know? Like, she doesn't care about her performance or like how her Eva is handling, what she can do to do better. No, 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 no. What she's bitching about is the fact that like Shinji and Rei occasionally do stuff, you know? Like, that's what she's pissed about. Like, Rei doing stuff. Like, Rei actually does something in this episode. She takes this... Okay, this is the most ridiculous thing I, I think I've seen in the series so far, where she takes a fucking lance, of all things, rips it out of Adam, and just, like, goes outside and, like, hurls it like a javelin into orbit to kill a fucking angel. Which is, like, ridiculous if you, like, think about, like, the, you know, the, the fucking numbers involved. Just unbelievable. Just... <laughs> Apparently she can do that. Apparently Evas are that fucking strong, but uh, the Lance can like, pfft. yeah, fuck guns. Fuck like the high tech, high powered sniper rifle that didn't work. We'll use this fucking Lance that uh, nobody ever brought up before in the past, and apparently has like some sort of like insane significance in the in the plot. Just no, but we'll just use that and, and just instead and just throw into orbit. We'll, we'll not explain what it is, but we'll we'll, we'll do it. Like it, it's just like it's so fucking. St so dumb. Uh, resolution. Uh, that that entire thing, th this entire episode is supposed to be about, about Asuka and how she's like, uh, you know, her mental state and how she's dis dysfunctional. And like, that kind of works. That kind of like, again, I, it just feels like it's not as satisfying as it should be. Like, it's not interesting. Like, they just... Again, Asuka was my favorite character, and I'm just surprised to say this, is this, like, this episode was just not that fun to watch. Like, the only thing I enjoyed, like, Asuka got the shit beat out of her, and I was laughing. Why? Because the genius creators had this amazing idea. Like, an angel is trying to take over Asuka's mind. What music should we play over that? Hallelujah! Holy, oh, just like, I was just like, holy shit, this is amazing. This is amazing. I love this so much. And it was just like, in a really bad way, like, okay, like, I didn't care about the drama of the situation. I didn't care about this bullshit about, like, uh, Asuka getting, like, mind raped. It wasn't interesting at all. I just liked the, 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 the choice of music they made. That was hilarious. Like, the fact that I would laugh at something like that just goes to show just how uninvested I am in this setting and, and, this, and in these characters. Like, even Asuka, who is my favorite, I don't care that she's getting the crap beat out of her because they do such a good job of, like, emphasizing how badly she's being, like, hurt, you know? Like, she's not injured by the end of this. Like, it's not... It didn't affect her at all. She's just being a whiny bitch. Like, yeah, Asuka is being the whiny bitch, not Shinji. Asuka is. She's not, like, taking responsibility for her actions. She's, like, bitching about all this shit that makes no sense. Like, blaming Rei and Shinji for her problems. Like, again, it, it just doesn't work. Like, it, it just doesn't, like... <sighs> 
it, it doesn't seem to mesh well with the Asuka we were introduced to in episode 8, where she was, like, very overconfident and, like, proud on herself. Like, th this is supposed to be about how she's, like, uh, trying to... Per she has this, like, insecure... She actually has, like, crippling insecurities, but I, I don't know, man. This was not the way to do it, I don't think. I really... I don't think it worked at all. Like, it was just Asuka just bitching at Rei, bitching at, like, Shinji, like, not piloting the Eva well, just fucking things up, and just, like, whatever. Really ridiculous. Like, overall, just really poor episode. Um, oh, and, oh, oh, yeah, did I mention this? This is the episode with the infamous elevator scene, the one that, like, everyone makes fun of. Uh, the one that everyone has, like, pointed out, like, this is the scene that people typically point out when they talk about, well, like, Evangelion's low budget, alleged low budget, and, you know, just, you know, low budget, you know, how lazy the animation can be. Because, like, there's this scene where Asuka steps into an elevator, and then, like, she just stand, and then Ray's there, and they just stand there, like, in place for, like, uh, what, like, a minute like, a minute and a half or something. Like, something ridiculous like that. I was just, like, watching this. Like, I've heard of this sequence before. But, and, uh, Super iPad Wolf made a video defending it. And, uh, I think that's the one reason I unsubscribed from because it was such pretentious bullshit. Like, uh, no, no, I don't think so. I just didn't watch the whole thing because I hadn't seen Evan Juliet. Why did I unsubscribe from him? I, I think there was some unrelated reason. But, anyway. Uh, that, that video. Uh... That video is bullshit because this this scene was disgusting. Like it does not take thirty seconds to establish something like that. Like in like it would maybe an awkward silence could maybe be ten seconds long and the characters should be moving a little bit, like maybe giving like awkward pauses or what or something like that to like emphasize what the scene is supposed to be like. You don't waste valuable time just having in a twenty thirty 23 minute long anime, you don't waste your valuable time having these characters just stand in an elevator doing nothing. Like, again, this is a problem that uh, I've had throughout Evangelion. I think the major difference with the elevator scene in particular is that, like, you actually see the characters and you actually, and they're not actually talking or anything. Like, I, I bitched about the, um, the wine in the last episode, but, uh, this is j just as bad. Like, the only major difference is that you actually see the characters and just see how, like, it's, pretty much just a still image just really ridiculous and i i was just like wow this, this is this is considered a classic animation no not an anime Th this is a considered a classic animation a still image where people don't talk and just pff, fucking bullshit like um Ray tried to talk to her and like Asuka like again weird this episode's supposed to be about Asuka but like I feel like Ray actually does stuff here more like Ray actually does stuff here which is really bizarre which is of course means that she's going to fucking die soon if the teaser for the next episode has, is anything to go by uh bye bye Ray uh just like shit Again, this isn't going to be satisfying either, I'm sure. Ray is just going to get fucking axed off and nobody's going to give a shit. Like, I'm not going to give a shit. Like, Asuka's my favorite character and I don't give a shit about this, like, dra dramatic bullshit. Like, whew, just unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Just, what a boring episode. Like, uh, again, like, I love the hallelujah, like, theme. Like, they just using that. Like, the idea of that was awesome. But again, the execution was wrong because... It went on for way too long. Like, the the music, I, I think it should have been, like, you know, should have kicked in every time Asuka was on screen and then, like, a, you know, not been, you, you couldn't really hear it when, like, they were in, cut back to the bass. Because, like, when you hear it, like, when they just kept cutting back and forth, like, you were hearing this theme for, like, way longer than it should have been. Like, for, like, a, several minutes, like... I, I don't know, like, longer than most anime pieces. Like, most anime pieces, like, transition into something else eventually. I, I, I just, I just feel like, man, th this is just, it, it just went on too long and, like, overstayed its welcome. And then, like, Asuka starts, like, writhing around and just, like, in pain and agony. And it's just like, you know, th this isn't just, this just isn't a well-directed scene. Like, I don't feel like Asuka is a relatable character, like, in this sequence. Like, I don't. Like, uh, she's just, like, a really conf... I, again, even when I like her, it's just like, why is she doing this? Like, 
I don't understand her in like that bad sort of way where it seems like they don't really put a whole lot of thought into what this character is actually like or what her background is like. Like again, this is episode was entirely supposed to be about her background, but they don't really give a lot of details about it other than like, ooh, her dad committed suicide and her mom is insane. And it's just like Whatever. Like, that, that's what I have to say about all major plot points in Evangelion. Whatever. I don't care about the Lance of Longinus. I, I don't care about, like, a, what caused Second Impact. I don't care about Asuka's backstory. Uh, th we have three episodes to go at this point. I, again, I'm skipping the Director's Cut episodes. I don't, I don't give a shit about those. I don't, I don't think I'll watch those at all. Uh, I'm just going to watch the series, uh, give my final thoughts on it. Like, three more episodes. Let's go. Episode 23.